Hello! Hi, howdy, hiya, and other forms of greetings. I'm just jumping straight in. Not, no stream starting soon or anything like that. It's just, we're straight in. So this is something that I was supposed to have done a long time ago. Yep. Should I should probably add music or something. This is, this is, this is chill, calm, and peaceful. But yeah. Welcome to a game about. Now, this is something I found on Steam a while ago, and I found lots of other games like this. And it's just like, it's well, I found a bunch of these kind of games that are like, uh, well, they're free, which is it's nice. <laughs> but also, it's just people have made these, and I just want to check them out. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. So. Yeah, I'm gonna. I've got a few of these kind of games, but this is the first one I wanted to play. Sorry, I'm I'm checking stuff all the time. It's kind of bad of me. I know I shouldn't be doing it. Boom. All right. Things are set. Let's go. Giraffes. Dreams. This this is what the game's about. A game about dreams. A game about exercising. So this, from what I know, which is basically nothing, is about a game about insomnia. It's about living out your day, being a normal human being, and just living out your life as you would do. The game. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Make it all blurry. Hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully the audio's alright. Hopefully the Quality's not too bad, but let's just jump in. It's apparently a short game, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. A game about yoga. A game about buses. Late for work. No bus in sight. Go home, watch TV, or run to work. I love how my character's like, like freaking out, like, ah, what do I do? Let's play late for work. Run to work. You're exhausted from running. Your boss seems angry. Where were you, huh? You're fired! Did I already fail? No! Is that it? The next day. No way to go. Still no bus in sight. Enjoy freedom at the park. Work on a new CV. You know what? Enjoy freedom at the park. You see a jogger and their dog. They're going so fast. Mm, look how fast that that is not a dog. That is something. Hmm. The next day. Nowhere to go. Still no bus in sight. Go home, watch TV, run to work. I fired. I can't I can't go to work. Just sleep in. Get in shape with jogging. Check for a pet that I want a pet! There's so many beautiful cats and dogs. Getting one while unemployed would be irresponsible, though. Yes, that would be. Oh, Avon. No, don't worry about that. Welcome. Hello. The next day. Nowhere to go. Still no bus in sight. What's funny is that I tried to be responsible, right? The, the bus wasn't there. And I tried to run to work. I was late, and I got fired. I should, okay, I should be responsible. Work on a new CV. You don't know how long you can manage without a job. You remove all mentions of punctuality from your CV. <laughs> Gotta get a job someday. <laughs> Growing up is hard. <laughs> the next day. And also, don't be sorry, Vaughn. Nowhere to go. Go to a job fair. Check. Go to the zoo. I don't have any money. Volunteer a shelter. That would be nice. But I need. I need to get a job. This feels somewhat meaningless. All opportunities feel the same. I want to be a hat supervisor. Oh, salesperson. Sorry. Everything's so blurry. <laughs> Everything's all about. Look at that guy. He's creepy over there. Look at that guy far right. I want. To, I want to sell hats. Please, I want to sell hats. Uh, let's get in shape with jogging. You feel like the fastest person on earth. Oh. I am not. I feel like, ah, uh, 
Come on! Ah, I'm working here! I was supposed to be the fastest on earth. Can I just like work out? Just jog every day? You know what? I'm tired. Let's, let's, let's nap. You lay in bed, wide awake. It's like watching paint dry, except the paint's already dry. <laughs> it's like watching your life fade away in front of your eyes. This is what it's like. I just lay in bed. Meaningless. I have no reason to live. <laughs> Try sleeping pills! I just want to sleep, God damn it! Oh god. The darkness. What a weird nightmare. I should calm down and focus on myself. The next day. Alright. Try yoga? Hit the gym. Let's get, let's get beefy. I'm Dwayne! I'll be your trainer! Oh, your sacky flesh bags when you get fruit. Yes, Dwayne. Dwayne the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> oh, it's the people's elbow. <laughs> Go and try coffee. There's so much I could do with the day. This is life without a job. You have a f you feel a weird tingling in your belly. It's because I was getting fit. I was doing some hard exercises. Uh, I. Try yoga? You're not even you're not even sure you're doing this right. Anyway, inhale for three seconds. Exhale for five. Just you try to get in the rhythm. Let's just inhale and let's just relax. Let's just everyone relax. Inhale and exhale. On screen, there's a visual representation of what we should be doing together. We just want to inhale for three seconds. And the next day. <laughs> Your backside is hurting. Hopefully that will go away. I'm just killing my poor man. This is me. This is me waiting for the bus that never is coming. Uh, you know, I need to get a job. I, I need to get a job. This, ah, uh, it's the same. This feels somewhat meaningless. All opportunities feel the same. I should have, the first option was I, I should have just stayed at home and not gone to work, called in sick. Then I wouldn't have been fired. You know, I tried to go to work and I was late and I got fired. The next day. You're feeling very bad today. This is not normal. Go to the doctor. The doctor looks at you for a hot minute. Take this every day and come back in a week. What does that say on the pill bottle? Like D I A A or E or P A M? Not sure. The next day. Six days left until your appointment. Focus. Focus. I'm gonna volunteer the shoulder. Do you're overwhelmed by cats and dogs. Maybe things aren't that bad. Aww. There we go. Look at all the cats and dogs. They look like bunnies. Okay, let's. They, 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 oh! Don't, don't bite my toes now! Ah, please don't hurt me. The next day. Five days left until your appointment. Run to work. I'm fired. You don't think. You, you don't think going back there is a good idea. Oh, you remember your scary boss. I'm wondering if this str this the uh, if it's the stress that caused all this. I was reading it as if I was the boss. Well you don't think it's a good idea. He caused so much stress. He was moody and he fired me because I was late. And now this this human life is falling apart. Let's go to the cinema. I need to relax. The movie is a queer rom com. A fantasy setting. Why is it that they don't make movies with happy endings anymore? This gentleman looks sassy. He's just like, hmm. I'm like, he's alive. And I'm just sad, like, hmm. I'm all alone in the cinema. I wish I had someone. Go out and try coffee. Yeah, you know, coffee. Coffee makes you unreasonably stressed. Well, fuck. I guess I shouldn't have had the coffee. No, it's just that. The coffee tastes like bottled dirt. He's high. <laughs> Go watch TV. I, well, I'm, also, I'm just waiting for my appointment, if anything. You watch TV the whole afternoon. Your brain only registers the ads. 
It feels overwhelming. Oh god. The next day. One day left until your appointment. Go to the zoo. The zoo is a nice place. You're so strange. Animals don't have worries. They don't stress over meaningless things. This isn't a giraffe. Achievement unlocked. You're so small. Oh god. You're right though. Animals don't, they don't have the stress that us humans gotta go through. Your appointment is today. Go to your appointment. Did you feel any change in your symptoms? No. Do you drink alcohol? No. Do you smoke? No. Any drugs? No. Any medical condition we should be aware of? Not that I know of. So no medication other than whatever that is. I, I'm not going to pronounce that. I know how to. Diet? Diazepam? I don't know. Did you skip your medication on any day? No. Did you feel like the medication helped? No. Did you suffer any physical trauma recently? It may have caused the pain. That's a, it's a giraffe, Avon. It's a very easily a giraffe. <laughs> no. Has your stress... Has your stress situation changed during the week? No. Are you hopeful the pain will go away in the future? No. The next day. You don't feel like waking up. You don't feel like going out. You don't feel like finding something to do. What's this about? Nothing. This is about nothing. How when nothing happens, things get considerably worse. You remember the times you were compassionate to others suffering. And you thought that they were contagious. They, that you wouldn't have to know how to deal with this. That it happened to you. And then... You wish someone had taught you how to be happy, or how to be sad better. Then maybe things wouldn't be different, or would have been different. You wonder what you could have been. Maybe this. I want to be that. Or this. I don't want to be that. I want to be happy. But then you're you, and you don't feel courageous. The next day you didn't feel like waking up. But you did anyway. Whatever may happen. It wouldn't get any worse than this. Would it? You got out of bed. But now what? You wait. You see a bus coming. Jazzy ass bus. The bus finally came. As the bus moves through the streets, passing cars, parks, and buildings. You realize you never took this route. It's nice not knowing where you're going. Hmm. The bus smells weird though. <laughs> Someone for a game by Oliver B. Thanks. Well, that was a game about. Very short, very short, but oddly very powerful. So, first thing we did was we were late for work, and we got fired because of that. We obviously had to get a new job, and we tried to do a CV, and we tried to go to job fairs, but we just didn't feel like that would help. It felt mo uh, meaningless and pointless. I tried to put those moinilosh, <laughs> tried to put the words together. So we try to fill the time with activities that normal people do, you know, go to the cinema, go to the park, and yeah, sometimes it helped, like going to the park and just sitting there relaxing, doing a bit of jogging. 
and it was good, and then someone overtook us, and that made us made us feel bad again. And this is like <laughs> I knew that this game would be somewhat like this, but all right, let's do this. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's play this again. I'll, I'll do it one more time because it was so short, and then we can we can talk about what the meaning of the game is. Let's do it one time. Late for work, no bus in sight. So the first time, I ran to work. Let's go home and watch TV. We watch TV the whole afternoon. Afternoon programming fucking sucks. <laughs> they, they're words, not mine. Step up, TV. We've got YouTube. Netflix. The next day. Go home and play video games. You watch TV the whole afternoon. Afternoon programming fucking sucks. I thought I said I was going to play video games. Can I play some, like, Overwatch? Maybe some Apex Legends? Uh, Starry Valley. The next day. Go home and... Oh, there you go. Play video games. You play video games all day. You feel a bit guilty about doing it. Yeah, I know that game. I don't know what game I'm playing, but... It sounds old and retro. The next day. Late for work, no bus in sight. So, I can't do either of those. You're exhausted from running. Your boss seems angry. Where were you, huh? You fired. Look at that mustache. I'm sorry, boss. How are you? I, I was sick, I promise. The next day. So, I get fired no matter what. Nowhere to go. It's still no bus in sight. Welcome. Let's let's try and be responsible. Is there anything else I can do? Work on a new CV. You don't know how long you can manage with a job. You will remove all mentions of punctuality from your CV. Can I get a job? Is there multiple endings? I feel like. Oh, excuse me. There probably isn't. But you know, let's try. Can I do it again? Yeah. You don't know how long you can. I don't. I think it's just you know one-time things. This. Game was so short, but I love it. I I like the idea of it, the the, the art style of it, the oddly cozy but sad feeling that it brings. Go to a job fair. Let's just focus on getting a job. This feels somewhat meaningless. All opportunities feel the same. Bow tie, hat, underwear. Look at how happy the underwear guy is. Like, mm, my genitals are cozy. <laughs> Want some underwear? The hat person looks like, mm, I, got a hat, I guess. Uh, so that's. So, you know, if you couldn't. If your CVs aren't going well and you don't feel like the job fairs are good, what do you do, you know? So you've, you've done your best to work at a CV and you've, you, know, you might have applied for a few places. You're happy with that. And you've gone to a job fair but nothing really catches your fancy. You can just. Enjoy some freedom at the park, you know? You just, you've done everything. You see a jogger and the dog. They're going so fast. Look at that headband. Like, speed plus 10, am I right? <laughs> so fast. <laughs> the next day. Let's, let's get in shape with jogging. You feel like the fastest person on earth. Ow. Ah, come on, hey! <laughs> I thought I was the fastest person on earth. The next day. Can I continue to do this? Oh, I feel like, yeah, no, I feel like not many of the options I can click on multiple times. It's probably just this, like, a few, but this one and most of the other ones are, like, one time only. Yeah, I tried to be the fastest person on earth, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, check for a pat in the shoulder, try yoga, hit the gym, just, I'm tired. You lay in bed. What a wick. It feels like watching paint dry, except the paint's already dry. It's not a fun experience, just laying in bed. Thoughts going around your head and you just want to sleep. So it's not the nicest thing. Let's try sleeping pills. You can get nightmares because effects from the sleeping pills and all of the. What a weird nightmare! 
I should calm down and focus on myself. So let's focus on ourselves. Let's try yoga. You're not even sure if you're doing this right. Anyway, inhale for three seconds, exhale, exhale for five. You try to get the rhythm. All right, let's, let's, let's all get the rhythm, right? Let's wait for it to reset to the inhale. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> so watch this. Ah, it's relaxing, you know, it's about just focusing on breathing. Isn't that nice? Just to inhale and exhale, just focus on breathing, just calm down. Just take a step back and just just chill. And now, after doing some nice yoga, we meet the rock. I'm Dwayne! Ooh. I'll be your trainer! All your saggy flesh bags ready to get food! Arr. He's a very happy. He's, he's he does not he skips leg day though you can see he does skip leg day you're feeling very bad today this is not normal go to the doctor the doctor looks at you for a hot minute take this every day and come back in a week i don't know what that says sorry so the doctor's giving me the medication again the next day six days left until your appointment so i've tried so I've tried sleeping pills and they just give me nightmares. I've tried to work on a CV, but it's not going anywhere. I don't like the job fair because nothing, you know, nothing uh, shoots my fancy. Yoga is good because it just focuses on breathing and we can all calm down. That's all good. Uh, we did the freedom at the park, which was good until... We did the uh, jogging. No, we we were not the fastest person in the world. There's, there's so many beautiful cats and dogs. S seeing them in cages makes you sad. Aww. Hi, can we get one? Can we have all of them? They sound so, they sound so sad. Five days left until your appointment. I really I want to go back. I just wanna, I wanna take them with me. I should probably not waste my days. Black, duck. Like, oh, this one's freaking out. Like, oh, please. Looks like it's fun, like, deal with that glasses every now and then, you know? Deal with it, I'm stuck in a cage. <laughs> I'm dealing with it right now. Uh, people like coffee, right? Not me personally, but... Coffee. Coffee makes you unreasonably stressed. Just not a good idea to drink coffee. The next day. Let's go to the cinema. I wonder who did this art, by the way. The movie is a queer rom com in a fantasy setting. Why is it that they don't make movies with happy endings anymore? What is this? Is like a chemical or some stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Coffee is good, Ed. It's not good, Avon. People don't like coffee. <laughs> well, people, lots of people like coffee, but my character, this is me, don't, don't like coffee. Coffee makes me stressed. Uh, let's just sleep in. You lay in bed, wide awake. You feel all your anxieties washing over you. Uh, the next day. One day left until your appointment. Just sleep in, hit gym. Check for a pet in a shelter. There's so many beautiful cats and dogs. Seeing them in cages makes you sad. So I can't, I can't have a pet. I can't take a pet home. Aww. I really wanted a pet. I should have stayed in bed again. Maybe that was something different would have happened. Your appointment is today. Go to your appointment. Did you feel any change in your symptoms? No. Do you drink alcohol? I do not. I don't smoke. Don't do any drugs. 
and from what I know, no medical conditions. So no no other medication. I didn't skip my medication any day. And I no, the medication did not help. Did you suffer any physical trauma recently that may have caused the pain? Hitting the gym with that rock probably caused some physical pain. Has your stress situation changed during the week? It's been bad all week. Are you hopeful the pain will go away in the future? It won't go away. The next day. You don't feel like waking up. You don't feel like going out. You don't feel like finding something to do. What's this about? Nothing. This is about nothing. How when nothing happens, things can get considerably worse. Remember the time you were compassionate to others suffering, and you thought that they were contagious, that you wouldn't know how to deal with this. Then it happened to you, and you wish someone had taught you how to be happy, or how to be sad or better, and maybe things would have been different. You wonder what you could have been, maybe this. Oh, this. But then you're you, and you don't feel courageous. The next day, you didn't feel like waking up. But you did anyway. Whether, may, whatever may happen, it wouldn't get any worse than this. Would it? You get out of bed, but now what? We wait. We just wait. You see a bus coming. Most through the streets, passing cars, parks, and buildings. You realize you never took this route. It's nice not knowing where you're going. Hmm. It's nice. The bus smells weird, though. The art, the art style is perfect. You're right. A game by Oliver B. So yeah, so that's the. It's a very very short game. Play through it two times. But yeah, like the meaning. Damn. <laughs> the meaning end stream. <laughs> but like, so it's not like super heavy hitting, but it shows you the um, like what people can go through, like losing a job, and then like everything that goes inside your head. And you do what you can, but sometimes doing everything you can do it doesn't make it necessarily better. Because we did, we tried to get our CV together, we tried to go job fairs and find ourselves a job, but that didn't work out. So we did distractions, we played games, we just slept in, we, you know, did jogging, we did exercise, you do, you do everything that is recommended, you know. You know, exercise, being outside. But then we also did the opposite. We stayed in bed and we just tried to sleep the day away. But we couldn't because, you know, the anxieties, everything in our head just washed over us. And when we took sleeping pills, it just gave us nightmares. So, yeah, and like, we were given pills and, you know, how it was supposed to make things better, but. It didn't, you know, unless it made it might have made it worse. Uh, Good guy Genk says, seems like a quirky take on depression, very simple and relatable, but I don't think it has much merit compared to other works of fiction. Yeah, no, it is, but it's very short, and like it does, it does like hint towards that. Like, <laughs> it could be like the the average person, you know, 
many of us could go through the exact same thing of this, you know, and maybe in different ways. Maybe not to do with the job loss, but just in general, you know, just not really being happy with ourselves and, you know, wanting to be happier and be our better self. And really just waking up and feeling like, what is the point? Why do you get out of bed, you know? Yeah, you can do a bunch of things, but, you know, it, it's not making you happy. It's not making you feel any better. So it's, it's weird, you know? But this game, I, I do like it. It's, I do like the, the meaning to it. You know, it's just how things can change so drastically, you know? One thing happens and then everything seems to be just bad and... You do what you can. I love it, a game about giraffes, by the way. <laughs> that giraffe scene, oh god. <laughs> but yeah, it's like everyone said in chat, like it yeah, it is heading towards depression and anxiety. And it's I like how clever the game is. It seems very simple and you don't know what to expect. But it's I just really like it. I think it was a good game and it's free on Steam, so if you wanna play it please check it out and you know it's I would recommend it. it's very short like what 15 minutes not even that like 12 but yeah the ending was nice because you just you just hopped on a bus and it's about not knowing what is coming in life but just being ready for it I guess and just just nice you know like I said he was it was nice not knowing what was gonna happen but yeah this was a game about. I uh, hope everyone liked it. I'm not sure what else to say, <laughs> but it, it was a nice game, and I do like the idea of it, the or the message it tries to show. That like we all we all go through difficult times, and like it's very easy to try to distract yourself from it, and 